previously on YouTube. Okay, so we talked about before, we talked about adding files using Google Drive. So we did that on my little hurricane tab right here. So I had created an infographic about hurricane preparedness. I had it saved in my drive and I added it here. Okay, that's all fine and good. So if you want to see that, you can check out the other video. But now we've been working on Excel and we have spreadsheets and I want to put them into my website because, um, because I want to because it's my project portfolio and, and a lot of my projects are in Excel and I want people to be able to click in and actually see what I did and, and maybe make it interactive so that it's more fun. So, okay. So I created a spreadsheet. So I'm just using this one as an example. This is, so this is my, the financial stuff that we've done. And I want to put this or a link of this or link to this in my website. Now I created this on Office 365. So, so inserting it from Office 365 is super easy. Um, using the, the full version of Office, you can do this too, but it's a little different. Now that's a topic for another video. Right now we're using my Microsoft Office 365. So this is Excel and I'm going to insert it in here. Now you can use, you know, Google has a version of that called Google Sheets and there's an option here to insert Sheets. Personally, like sheets are okay, but, but personally, I prefer Excel. Sorry, Google. Excel works better. Anyway, so I want to insert my Excel here. There are two ways I can do this. The first thing I could do is I could share it as a link. So if I did that, so I would do a text box. So I could either click text box here or right here where I want it to be. I could double click and it gives me my little selection wheel and I just do text. Okay, so I could go, this is the link to my spreadsheet. Okay. So maybe I want my link to be here. Maybe I want this whole thing to be a link. Totally up to you. Okay, so the way I do this is I go over to here. Super easy, but also kind of static and boring, but super easy. I go to the file button. Normally we've been doing it this way in class, but we're going to do the file button. If I go down here to share, I have two options. I have share with people or I have embed. We're going to do both of these, but for right now, we're just going to do share with people. I didn't move for a while, so my overhead lights went off. Okay, share with people. And it automatically sets it to where anybody with the link can edit. I don't want that because I want people to be able to click onto my website, but I don't want them to change or onto my spreadsheet, but I don't want them to actually change what's in my spreadsheet. And the thing with Office 365 is it's cloud-based. So if they actually change your stuff, it changes your stuff, your original one. So I'm going to click up here where it says anyone with the link can edit. I don't want that. I click on that. I'm going to unclick the allow editing. Now there's another option. So like say you were sharing with classmates or something and you want them to be able to see what you did, but you don't want them to actually be able to copy what you did. You could always block download. I don't really care about that for this particular project. So I'm just going to apply. So now I am going to copy link. And it says link copied. I'm going to click this anyway, just to be sure. And then I'm going to go over to my website. Okay, I'm ready. I just got to put it in as a link. So let's say I want to put, this is the link. I want to make that my link. I just highlight what I want. My text editing box thingy comes up. I go over to insert link. I do control V for paste. And I apply. Ta-da! It's a link. So if I click out of this, it doesn't let me do this while I'm in editing mode. But if I want to see what people would actually see, I can go to preview mode. And I can see if it'll let me click on the link. So if I click on the link, it opens my spreadsheet. Hooray! It worked. Okay, so that's good. That's fine. Uh, but it's a little bit boring. And it's slow. Okay. Maybe that's just my computer. That could just be me. Okay. It's not you. It's me. So now I have this. Let's say I want to do it a little bit more. I want to be like more dynamic and fun. Yeah. A better way to do this is to insert, is to embed it. And apparently I'm out of time. So that's going to be part two.